Welcome to the Depot Sports Notebook, your daily WVU sports roundup at thedepost.com. The WVU men's basketball team's pressure defense is powerful, to be sure. The Mountaineers lead the Big 12 with 500 turnovers forced this season, while no other team in the conference has topped 335. But with great power comes great responsibility, and that's where WVU has fallen short. While the Mountaineers are forcing turnovers at an impressive rate of 21.7 per game, the team hasn't been taking care of the ball as of late. Through its first 17 contests, WVU averaged 11.5 turnovers per game. That figure has jumped to 15.5 during the Mountaineers' last six games. WVU turned it over 16 times during its 87-69 loss against Baylor on Saturday. It was the Mountaineers' fourth-highest turnover total of the season, and head coach Bob Huggins was quick to point to that as an area of concern. I've said this from the beginning. We have to turn people over, but we can't turn it over, Huggins said. Turnovers were 19-16. and 16. When we win, they're 19-8 and 8, or 22-8. and 8. That's 14 more shots that we would get. WVU next plays Kansas State at 7 p.m. Wednesday at the WVU Coliseum. He emerged on a frigid mid-April evening at Holly Field as snowflakes flew and his legend grew. Ross Vance stood on the mound with a sly grin on his face, swatting the snow away with his glove while squashing Ohio State. The WVU redshirt sophomore left-hander hurled a complete game two-hitter with 14 strikeouts and two walks in a 4-1 victory. Ten months later, memories of that first Division I start elicit warm feelings for the McKinney, Texas resident. It made for some pretty good picture moments my family got up on posters, Vance said. That was definitely the most memorable game, just because it was my comeback, I guess you could say. The 5'10 Vance, who missed two junior college seasons after undergoing Tommy John surgery in 2011, had been an ineffective reliever before WVU coach Randy Maisie gave him the ball for the midweek game against Ohio State. Vance settled right in as a starter, quickly moving into the Mountaineers' weekend Big 12 conference rotation. He finished with a 3-4 record and a 3.41 ERA. He now heads into the 2015 season as the ace of an unproven Mountaineers pitching staff. WVU plays its first game Friday at Clemson.